today. As you can see from the title, we are getting ready to go to a wedding. I am so excited. This is actually, this is not a lie. I'm 24 years old. This is the first wedding that I will be going to that's like actually one of my friends. And this will be the third wedding I've ever gone to overall in my whole life. And the first two were ones I had to go with Nathan. Well, I didn't have to, but he had, like, we went to his cousin's wedding and then one of his, like, best, best friend's weddings. Um, and those are the first two weddings I ever went to. And now, finally, one of my actual friends. So excited for her. I'm just so excited. And I'm so excited to see her because... We we met in college, we were really good friends, and well, we still are, but now we live like six hours apart, and it's like so hard to see people that live six hours away from you, especially when you have a brand new baby. So I am so excited to see her, and I'm so excited that she's getting married. I'm so happy for her. She just seems like so happy, and I'm so excited. So I'm going to have a couple extra steps because I want my skin to be flawless and last forever <laughs> last all night because at least in my experience like granted I've, I've only been to two weddings in my whole life so maybe I don't know but typically the wedding starts like sometime in the afternoon and then like you do all the wedding stuff and then you like go and you party for like all night so <laughs> you kind of want it to last from like 3 p.m. until like 3 a.m. So we're gonna prep. I have really dry skin, so I wanted to prep with something that's like hydrating. My hair is annoying. Now we're gonna do one extra step. You don't have to do this, but I want my skin to look super flawless. So I'm going to use the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer on like the most of my face, like everywhere except my nose basically. And then on my nose, I'm going to use the Poreless Putty Primer. The pores on my nose are like the worst. So I don't want to add any more glow. I just need the pore perfecting part. But for the rest of my face, we can really glow it up. This might look kind of weird. Maybe I didn't zoom in enough to like make it cute. I just put this behind me because I have dark hair and the wall is painted like a dark color. So just so it kind of contrasts more and you can see that I have hair and stuff. <laughs> We are not taking Jax with us. Don't even get me started. I'm so sad. It's stressing me out so much to think about leaving him. We're obviously getting somebody to watch him. He's going to stay at his grandma and grandpa's house, but <sighs> don't make me talk about it. Don't make me talk about it. So then I'm going to use the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. This is so good. It is mattifying, which is also why I put that hydrating like prep underneath, um, even on top of all of that skincare that I normally do. I put like an extra layer of moisture because this is mattifying, but that for that reason, it is my favorite long lasting full coverage foundation for the summertime when it's hot and humid. If you have oily skin, obviously this will work for you year round. It's a little bit too dry for me in the winter, but in the summer, Oh my gosh, it's so good. And this is actually an amazing shade match for me. This is the shade 010. Um, and it's so good. So I just do like one like squoosh of it. And this will do like basically half of my face. And I'm using a brush. I don't normally, but I just washed all of my sponges. <laughs> um, cause, and I need to wash my brushes too, but I just washed all my sponges and I really don't want to get them dirty right away so I'll just use this brush that's already dirty mm -hmm. oh look how just it's so beautiful and although it's like a mattifying full coverage foundation it really doesn't feel heavy on the skin I personally don't like that feeling so I wouldn't I wouldn't use a foundation that feels like very heavy and it looks beautiful with a brush and with a sponge. The sponge is just gonna add a little bit more um, moisture. So when I actually use this for the wedding, I'll probably use a sponge. I mean, this is probably the first time you'll ever see me use a brush with foundation. This is also obviously my pale shade. 
but I'm probably going to fake tan for the wedding. So I actually need to drive to Ulta and get a tan shade of this. Got the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, the original one, in light sand, which is actually really close to my actual skin color. I don't care for, oh, actually, it looks kind of highlighted right now, but it's not too bad. I don't like a super white under eye. I'm just using the same exact brush, just like the other side of it. And I'm rubbing it into the Milani Prep Set and Glow Powder. And setting those under eyes. Then I'm just going to grab a bigger brush to do the rest of my face with the powder. Really lightly setting the rest of my face. And because this foundation does dry down, you don't need a ton. I'm just going boop, boop, and then doing like a whole section of face. Something I have actually rediscovered in my collection and just been re-falling in love with is this trio highlight thingy from Milani. It's the Milani 03 Rose Glow Stellar Lights Highlighting Palette, and they still make this, and it's beautiful, especially because if you've been here for a while, you know I love to use like bronzy gold shades to highlight like my forehead and just give me like a really pretty glow. And then obviously for my skin tone, this is like the actual like highlight I would put on the high points of my face. So I'll show you how I do this if you've never seen me do this. So I literally just dab with a fan brush. I love using like a really loose, like soft, super soft fan brush for this. I have the Morphe M601. I also really like the Zoeva 129. I'm not sure if Zoeva is cruelty free though. I'll have to double check. And I literally just dip into both of these colors. And then I'll start on my forehead and just glow it up. I'm like, just using like a really dark bronzy highlight, like a highlight that's just meant for people with darker skin than my white ass and using it as like a glowy bronzer basically. And the reason I like to do it first is because it's a highlight, so it's like super shiny. So then when I put like a normal bronzer on top of it, it turns it just into like this beautiful glow instead of like a metallic highlight on the side of your forehead. And I'll even bring this like onto the side of my face over here. Just like right in this section. Oh, yes. Also why I do my eyebrows after I finish my face because I just go all over them. Now taking an actual bronzer. It's more of like a skin finish. This is the Take It To Brazil bronzer from Wet n Wild and like a big fluffy brush. And I'm gonna hit, go to town. Like go to town with some bronzer. I'm definitely guilty of bronzer helmet. You don't have to do that. I like a lot of bronzer, especially on my forehead. And then hit that crimson chin, girl. Uh, see how it just makes it a glow. Mm, my favorite thing ever. Then we're gonna go for this Flower Beauty contouring palette and use this more cool contour shade. And just, just a dibbly dabble. Just a dibbly dabble right back here. I don't do a lot because I feel like it can look like too much on me very fast. So I just do like literally like an inch right here. Just that's it, that's it. Cause it just, and I'll hit my little chin too. Cause otherwise it just looks like way too much really fast. I'm actually gonna use good old Luminoso and this like kind of more floppy blush brush. Cause I think these, these type of blush brushes work really good for that like more blown out blush look that's really popular right now. And I've just, I haven't used this in so long and I feel like it's gonna look really good with the eyeshadow look that I'm gonna do or like the colors anyway. Um, and like just look really flattering. Honestly, this is a super flattering color on just about anybody. So yeah, and it's gonna look really nice when I'm really bronzed up too, like when I'm fig tan. Oh yeah. Ooh, so pretty. Oof, that is so pretty. 
hits him on the nose because that's the trend. This guy. I think it'll blend into this blush a lot easier too. Whoop. Oof, unless you use way too much like I just did. Okay, so don't dip in that like a crazy person. Let's go back and kind of blend over this with our blush. Oof. And that is the face. Okay, so I'm going to do my brows and one eye off camera. Yeah, I'll do my brows and one eye off camera and then we will be back. Okay, so we're using the ColourPop Whatever palette. And if you think this is too much for a wedding, I hear you out. But I actually did a poll on my Instagram like so long ago. Because before all of the virus stuff hit and everything shut down, there was like I think five weddings in a row that Nathan and I were going to go to like I think it was like five weddings in two or three months and I had only been to two weddings before and I was pregnant for both of them so I didn't wear like barely any makeup because I was so sick the whole time I didn't feel like getting all glammed up in my head I was like obviously the bride is the one who wants to have like the best makeup or like the most extravagant makeup so to wear something like colorful or like a bright red lip or something is not appropriate but I was shocked to see like 75% of people said no. And I was personally like so shocked by that. So I'm kind of doing like a little, like a deeper smoky eye. You can obviously like tone it down a little bit if you want. Um, or if you don't think that it's super inappropriate to do, then do whatever. I was shocked because I thought people would be like, no, you're supposed to wear basic ass makeup and just be a plain Jane because the bride wants to like stand out the most or whatever. But then, and that's what the people who said it isn't appropriate were saying. And then everybody else was like, it doesn't matter what you're wearing because the bride is gonna stand out anyway. If you wore a lime green eyeshadow and a red lip, like people would still just be looking at the people getting married, so it doesn't matter. I feel like I said I wasn't gonna talk very much during <laughs> This video and I think I've been talking a lot so uh. I use I try to use all my eyeshadows like I switch it up constantly but I feel like I never film with like enough of them like I feel like I can't remember filming with this like other than my review of this palette but I have used it so much then I mixed these two shimmers I was just going to use this one titty why did I think that said titty but then I just I couldn't resist this ditching you is so freaking gorge I just mix them together and then I sprayed it with my um Catrice multitasking fixing spray is like the most long lasting um, spray ever that, or that I've used, especially like from the drugstore. Look at that. Oh, it's so, it's just too good. And I, I didn't cut my crease or anything. Hopefully I'm not like getting my hand in the way of what this, what's happening right now. Tell me that isn't like Hopefully, the camera is picking up. Oh, just tell me that isn't just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. And I'm taking like a fatter um, pencil brush with the darkest shade, Miss Bright Side. You could just not put that. Just do these lighter transition colors and put that all, that shimmer all over the lid and leave it like that and it won't be as smoky. If you think this is too like dark and smoky for you or for just a wedding guest in general then just leave it with the first two colors put that shimmer all over the lid and you're good to go it's still beautiful i just want to make it a little bit more like deeper sultry sexy smoky oh it's so beautiful these warm colors are just so like foolproof too oh just gorgeous and then i'm going to take this and 
I'm gonna take the second transition color and a dab of bad guy. Like do 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 and a do of bad guy to blend all of that out in the outer corner. Like right above it. And like hopefully I'm like Every time I try to go in the mirror, I'm like blocking what I'm actually doing with my hand. So hopefully you get a clear idea of what I'm doing. First transition color on the first brush, one little dab in and we're going to go on like the full outer edge now. I blow my eyeshadow out very far. You don't have to. I just, that's how I roll. Then I also took the highlighting shade Tardy and I sprayed my brush too with that. Oh, and then I did the inner corner. Oh my god, it's so pretty. And then without spraying it, I touch it on my brow bone. Just a titch. So then all I did was mascara and a nude eyeliner in the waterline and then we'll do our lip. Okay, so I feel like I had been talking a lot already so I just threw on my lip off camera and I fixed my hair as well. It's not like perfect, but it's, it's fine for this. So what I did for my lip was the Milani Lip Liner in 09 Spice, Milani Matte Lipstick in Innocence, which is like a really pretty nude. And then I put the ColourPop gloss also from this whatever collection in Crushin on top. Mm. Yeah, and then um, I'm wearing this really cute dress. I've probably popped up a picture already. And some really cute like cognac, like wedgie heel, like platform heel kind of things. Ugh, I'm so excited. I'm wearing like a body chain too because it's like a deep V. I'm so excited and I'm going to be really tan and we haven't gone anywhere because of the virus and all this quarantine stuff so this is like our first little trip and I'm like going all out because I've been just like cooped up in this house and I'm going crazy. Obviously we're still going to be safe but I did also with that I wanted to mention that we are going up a day early so we'll have a day in Dallas like in the Dallas area so if y'all are from around there if you know of anything cool that we should do definitely let me know. My dad my brother also lives in the Dallas area so we're gonna like link up with him and do something fun the Friday before the wedding so let me know if there's anything cool we should do um because we definitely want to do something something because also because we won't have jacks with us so we can do like fun adult stuff so let me know all the products I used will be down below and my Instagram will be down there as well like comment subscribe all that good stuff follow me on Instagram and I think that is all I have to say. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, just have a good one. Bye.